all right guys so it's a little update again for the bitcoin price again i am not a financial advisor this is not financial advice anything i say here is just for educational and entertainment purposes only always do your own research on any assets you invest in now time for the bitcoin price here we go uh oh <laughs> i just closed it out here we go <clears throat> all right so what we see here clear breakout on that trend line we were looking at let's see um let's make it bigger nope nope, nope. let's make it bigger and there we go so we are breaking out currently on that trend line on our falling wedge and if we look in the daily right look in the daily zoom in a little bit more we are definitely breaking out unfortunately we did not break out of that resistant line before the day ended we did not break it we actually broke it after the daily candle close as you can see here the daily candle close this is the four hour chart but um let's do the brush here yeah this is the four hour chart but if you look right here right that red one beside that green candle that red look cross looking uh candle was actually when it closed it closed below that resistant line which is actually when the daily candle closed and then that this green candle that we see here that's actually breaking the resistant line is the start of the new day okay so uh, let's do that and if we go back to the daily all right as you can see here if we look back to the daily that's very very good news we are currently breaking that resistant line what to look for for the rest of the 22 hours that we have left as you can see here on this time chart right here oh, 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 oh. on the time right here whoa I can't even highlight it the time right there right we have 22 hours and 17 minutes left the, until the daily candle close what we need to look for is we need to stay above that resistant line all right we need to stay above it we need to close above it if we close above it that resistant becomes support and it is a, a confirmed break of the resistance okay that's what we need to look for and the day, again that this daily candle is gonna close tomorrow at 7 p.m. Central Standard Time all right um, one thing I do see here, which is really, really good news right here, uh, the can the Bollinger Band, right? Uh, I was scared, of, well not scared, I was a little nervous uh, earlier when we were still in that falling wedge because if we were to break lower, if those candles were to break lower, this Bollinger was actually starting to separate like that, okay? Uh, it's not too good of a drawing but again yeah this right here this Bollinger was actually starting to separate like this right if those candle stayed below that resistant line okay and that's bad news because if it stayed below and the, and the two Bollinger started separating like that then we could see another drop down to the support line at the bottom of the wedge okay and if we break that support line then guess what we are going down lower so good news it didn't go lower and it didn't make the Bollinger separate the way it looks on my drawing instead instead it went up and now what we're seeing is more squeeze right this Bollinger is now starting to squeeze more and if it does squeeze more like that, that means this candle is going to go up to the middle line, okay? So that's what we're looking for. That's why we need to stay above that resistance, all right? So, so far we're looking good. Now, uh, going to the two-hour chart much clearer right here okay you see the Bollinger is starting to separate 
which is good this is on the shorter time frame but we did see a breaking of that resistance again we need to stay above it now since we did break it and right since we did break it on the shorter time frame now we are on the higher end of this Bollinger and now this this squeeze right here on the two hour chart is starting to separate kind of like the daily chart but the what the opposite of the daily chart is we are actually on the top end of this Bollinger instead of the bottom end of this Bollinger right so since we are on the top end of this Bollinger this candle if it breaks it's gonna follow the top Bollinger band up to the upside going towards my target of $48,000 all right so that's what we're looking for okay so we are on track that is what we need to look for for tomorrow okay just hope that we stay above this new support line now it's, it's now resistant but we need to stay above it to confirm it become support on the daily chart all right <clears throat> all right so i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe my videos so that and also hit the notification bell so you can get the latest up-to-date videos every time I upload it on your notification I right, hope you all enjoyed it um, that's it for now and that's what to look for make uh, hopefully we stay above it for the rest of the 22 hours all right stay above that resistant line and close above it that makes it a support on the daily chart which is very very bullish all right hope to see you in the next video bye